Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Ordinary E. Um, if you remember we are picking up from the last episode, we were at the motherboard stage. Um, now, we've had to investigate what this motherboard is. So, it was a Foxconn N1, N1 um, and I'll learn a bit more about it. So this is a 775 socket. Um, we got DRAM slots, we got CPU power, we got uh, USB inputs and and some other gizmos I'll tell you in a bit. But the problem we've run into, one, I can't see these pins to fix. To fix. Um, plus, now that we know it's a 775 motherboard, the only chip I have, this was a Intel E5430, um, which has, and I've marked it, it's now a, it's a 771 socket, so that won't fit. But this one, which came from Belgium, that one I purchased for 99p, but this one that came from Belgium, my good friend, is an E6758, and that one is a 775 socket, which I've marked, so that will fit in here. However, I can't see the pins to fix them so I've ordered um, a more powerful magnifying glass and we'll try and fix that and we're probably going to end up building two systems for free but what we're going to do then instead is we're going to dismantle the Acer machine and we've also picked up another PC salvaged another PC um, from one of my family members, my good sister. Thank you to her. So what we'll do is we'll tear down the PCs and take out all the pieces in there. Here's the one my sister gave us. We don't know, I don't know what's in it. But um, what we'll do is we'll start tearing them all down, taking out all the motherboards and the parts and uh, yeah, salvage more. So we should have three motherboards in total now, and then we'll see what we can use. So let's start tearing it down. Um, we'll start with this one. There's a ton of screws on here. Some fun screws, which we'll keep.
See what motherboard and computer chip we got in here. So it's cooler master on it, huh? That matches. That'd be cool if we can use it, if it's better, if it's the best one we've got. Alright, that's the cool off. And now, you can see the thermal paste, we'll have to clean that off. Let's get some... Alcohol, and we get a tissue. Just so happy to have one here. We'll just spray the tissue first. Get the board up. Let's see if we can clean this off quick. Yeah, very good, very quick and easy. All right, so the board looks pretty similar to that board. So I'm guessing it's gonna be a 775 slot. But let's look at the chip. So the chip is a Intel, oh dear. The Core 2 Duo, Intel Core 2 Duo. Let's have a look at it. Let's look it up quick. Clock speed of 1 to 3.33 gigahertz, single dual quad core microprocessor based on micro architecture. Released in 2006, people. Oh god. Okay, what socket do I need for this? So it's before the i3, the i5 and the i7. So it looks like it's not as good as the one in the Acer. So it looks like it's going to be the Acer, the Acer gear, for people. All right, let's go into the Intel page. Uh, actually, let's go for socket. Socket is a 775 as well, so it can go into that board. Um, which means this isn't, oh, and it, the board says it anyway, LGA 775. Finally, a board says it, that one didn't say it. Okay, so we've got another 775, we've got another slowish processor. So I wonder what processor is better, the dual core or the E blah blah blah. Now, this is an Intel desktop motherboard. E210882. So it's a 775 socket. Um, which we're not going to be able to use with the i5 because I believe the i5 was a different socket. So let's just figure out what socket the i5 is. Types of i5s. God damn it. Alright, fine. We'll figure out. We'll have to take it out and see what it is, right? Intel i5 uses an LGA socket, which is 1151 or 1150 or 1155 or 1115, so whatever 115 socket it needs to be. So the i5 can't go into any of these motherboards. The 775 can go into these motherboards. Potentially got one, two computers and three with the i5. Okay, we'll build three cases. I've got cases here. We'll build three computers. How about that, guys? All right. Next. What's next? So if that's an i5, let's take let's take that computer stuff, let's take the motherboard out of the Acer and try and put it in here. So that seems to be the best we've got. We can check the RAM in there as well and then choose the best RAM that we've got and start putting it into this PC case. Hopefully it all fits. 
Let's do it. Let's have a look at this rams we've got in here so oh there's a name on this one it's called kingston two gigabyte ram so this is our best ram right the other one was one these are halves but there's only two dim slots these are called dim slots yeah so we've got two gigabyte there is that one two gigabyte and it's two gigabyte so we've got four gigabyte ram now it's got a two r times eight pc3 10600 okay so I've, I've learned what these are so we've got two gigabytes of ram the 2r is the chips by eight so it's some sort of key gate that opens up i'll figure it out the pc3 is the power um, you can have pcl3 which is low power so this is pc3 which is high power and then the speed is 1066. So there we go, We've, this is our best RAM. This is the one we're gonna use, obviously. Um, our second best is in that board, which we'll try and fix another day. Hopefully this now just comes out. Or did Asa stick it down? Don't know. Um, can't see any more screws. Can't see, oh. Don't tell me that is stuck. Have they stuck the motherboard? I oh, know, here we go. Here we go. Nice and gently, guys. Oh, what it is is this is stuck to the side. Very good. Okay, motherboard is out. this to the side a minute she is out ladies and gentlemen all right we'll clean up the chip a little spray of alcohol let's see what we're working with this is not only uh blimey this chip is much is it smaller Intel Core i5-2320, all right. Intel i5-2320, is that the best chip we have? 
2320 price. Let's find out how much it is. <laughs> it's 38 bucks in America, so it's about 25 quid here. Oh no, wait, this one's 200 and set what? Socket with. No idea what that means. Why is that cheaper? Processor only, no box. Right, I think this is a used one. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I mean, there's i5s in here for the same i5 is 220 pound, 220, 172 brand new. No, that's a 9600. Yeah, so it looks like they're 200 quid, which is more than a, a new CPU. This is odd. So anyway, what socket does it use? Socket type is a 1155, LGA 1155. So that's the only board I have, which is a 1155. All right, fine, fair enough. That's the one we use. What I'll do guys is, you can see the thing is caked in dust. My God. So what we'll do is we'll clean that up. Now we do have um, a ton of coolers now, so I don't know what is going to be the best one, how I decide the best one is. But maybe we just stick with the one that was on it. Or we've got a Cooler Master one here, so why not go with that? With this big funnel type contraption. Which I think I can take off. Yeah, I can probably take that off. Don't know why you would need that. But it looks ghastly. Don't do these things, these ghastly things. <coughs> yep. Crash bang wallop. All right, the Cooler Master, and it seems to have the same, yeah, same kind of fixings as that one. Although this one is springy. Oh, it's got spring, and this one got the springs. Probably, yeah, it does. I might go with the Cooler Master, because obviously the Cooler Master case. Oh, it's thermal paste on the bottom as well. God damn it. Let's clean that off. So it looks like we've got to put thermal paste on both of these. This is just going to be... There's dirt rather than thermal paste. God damn it. Alright, so what I'll do guys is I'll clean this up and then we'll put it in the case, if we can, hopefully. And then, yeah, we'll clean everything up right now. Give me two minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I finished uh, cleaning up, mostly. We've got the motherboard all cleaned up. It's got some of, uh, I used these quick tips, or these Q-tips, and, um, See how they fray? Because they catch on the electronics and they caught on the um, socket pins. And I managed to bend some of the pins here, but I've managed to get the tweezers and put them back in place. So they look all right. I'll check this video back and see if I can see any anomalies, but let's pull that up. Right down the bottom is where it caught. So quick tip, don't use Q-tips around your socket. If anything, put your CPU in there and clean around it. But I was trying to get rid of the uh, thermal paste that was stuck around the sides. Um, I've checked the capacitors. So another tip, check your top of your capacitors because there was a time when these started leaking on top. And if you've got signs of that, you could have damaged capacitors, but we know this board is working. Was working until I got the pins caught. Um, and again, these capacitors all look good. This is all cleaned up. This board is ready to go as well. Um, I haven't done the other board, which is over there. It's another 775 board. If you want to have a look at the chip, here it is. And it's going to be an i5. There you go, an i5 chip. So, um, I've run out of time today, 
but if you want to see me now put all the parts together and into the case and finally start it up then you know what to do subscribe like hit the notification bell and i will see you guys on the next one thanks for watching thanks for subscribing those of you that subscribed already um we're getting there i think the last the next episode will be when we start the computer or try to start the computer obviously